Hello, thanks for checking out What's Up at Fun Factory Hobbies. This video is for the week ending on the 29th of January, 2022, aka Saturday. Uh, so, we've got a bunch of new stuff in. Let's get right into it, shall we? Uh, first up, we have the latest expansions from Epic Encounter, Steve Forge Games. We have the Arena of the Undead Horde. It has 20 miniatures, uh, skellies, zombies, that kind of stuff. Uh, Double-sided game mat, an adventure book, uh, monsters, stats, tips and tricks for building tension and excitement, designed to work with 5th edition Dungeons and & Dragons. And then the boss for this wave, Tower of the Lich Empress. One gargantuan miniature. 12 tokens, double-sided game mat, an adventure book, monster stats, and again, tips and tricks for building tension and excitement. These go together, so the tokens kind of correlate with the monster, the minions in here, uh, etc. Fun stuff, already actually sold one of the boxes of skeletons. So there you go. Uh, more minis. Uh, Dark Souls, the board game, this is the Executioner's Chariot expansion, is not new, but it's new to us. Looks like it comes with some skellies also. There's some information for you. And Manus, Father of the Abyss, expansion for Dark Souls, the board game. And again, uh, if I can get the box turned around here. There you can kind of see the miniature and some stats. Been selling quite a bit of the Dark Souls base game, so we wanted to make sure we're trying to have as many of the expansions as we can find. Uh, new from Upper Deck Entertainment, Marvel Legendary Messiah Complex Expansion, the Deluxe Edition. 200 playable cards, 8 heroes, 3 masterminds, and more. Already sold a copy of that, too. Again, in the not new, but new to us category, the Search for Planet X from Renegade Game Studios and Foxtrot Games. Getting really good reviews on Board Game Geek. And it's been out of stock for a while at many warehouses, but now we have it. Huzzah! New from Steve Jackson Games, Munchkin Russia. So your typical tongue-in-cheek Munchkin humor, leveling up, stabbing your buddies, stealing their stuff, but with a uh, flavor of Russian folklore and not folklore, real stuff. Cossack, babushka, etc. Cool stuff. There's another copy of it. We have from WizKids a whole bunch of stuff. This one in the not new but new to us category. Starfinder Battles, Planets of Peril, Docking Bay. Bunch of cool sci-fi pre-painted terrain. Includes a cargo hauler, a flatbed trailer, two 2x2 two two shipping crates, two 1x2 two shipping crates. Four one by one containers and a bench. Obviously, for intended for use with Starfinder battles, but uh, works with a whole lot of stuff. Uh, now into some of the fantastical stuff. We have D and D icons of the realms again from Whiskids. Swamp gas balloon premium miniature from the Wild Beyond the Witch Light. You can see there, cool mini. Uh, we have the Witchlight Carnival pre-painted minis. Lots of colorful stuff in there. Again, Wild Beyond the Witchlight stuff. So Hwagen Warband. AKA Fish People. Not Wild Beyond the Witchlight. We have... 
the latest paint night kit chimera the cool classic monster from greco-roman mythology and it comes with obviously the chimera miniature 12 vallejo colors and those are the colors two brushes and a water pot include the plastic blister as your palette for your paints and that's the latest in a whole line, as you can see here, of paint night kits, which we have in stock. All come with appropriate colors of paint, brushes, etc. And at 20 bucks, it's a pretty good buy. Um, and then we have the Jubilex, Demon Lord of Slime and Ooze. Uh, the packaging doesn't do the figure justice. There's a lot of translucent plastic in there. Really cool looking. Kind of get an idea from the picture there on the side. And then there's six new pre-painted Pathfinder miniatures. We have a male gnome bard, a male elf magus, a female human wizard, male dwarf sorcerer, Female Halfling Cleric and Male Human Bard. Uh, we have from Renegade Game Studios. Again, this folks from Search for Planet X. These are new. The Transformers deck building game and the G.I. Joe deck building game. Haven't played them, but I understand they're really fun. From Haba, one of our kids' games manufacturers. My very first game, so this one's aimed for these really youngins. Here, Fishy Fishy is for two-year-olds and up. And flipping over here. There you can see a youngster playing it. Magnet bobbin for fish. Fun stuff for your little ones. We have releasing today from Wizards of the Coast, Magic the Gathering, Commander Collection Black. We have a very limited number of these. These are limit one per person. First come, first served. And we have Innistrad Double Feature starring Midnight Hunt and Crimson Vow. So this is a special set. These are 24 count draft booster packs, boxes. Uh, they have basically a black and white, AKA silver screen treatment of cards from Midnight Hunt and Crimson Vow all in one set. We are not actually going to sell these today, Friday, because we have a draft tournament scheduled for tomorrow, Saturday, the 29th of January, 2022 at noon. So once we've run the tournament and know how many we have left, then we will sell them. We have a very limited quantity of these available as well. These are premium packs, expensive, so now you know. Not quite master's level expensive, but in that range. Uh, and then we have Games Workshop. We have a new Kill Team terrain set called Kill Zone Octarius. Lots of cool terrain there. The models, the character models, are not included. You can see the back of the box there, a little bit more details. Good stuff. And a new Kill Team starter set, Skirmish Combat. So it's a 40k game. I'm sorry, Warhammer 40,000 game. Uh, but it's Skirmish Combat as opposed to regular Warhammer 40,000 is more tactical level. So you're moving individual models in this and you have upwards of maybe a dozen models per side. I don't even think it's quite a dozen, maybe 10. Been a I haven't read this version yet, so perhaps they've tweaked it some since then. Um, as opposed to normal Warhammer 40K where you've got squads of guys that you're moving at a time and so forth. Uh, so this is a, like I said, it's a brand new Kill Team starter. It features Kill Team Recruit Rulebook, a 96-page rulebook, a Kill Team token sheet, 10 six-sided dice, and three combat gauges. 
transfer sheet for Death Corps of Krieg and Orc Commandos. So there's the Death Corps of Krieg miniatures across the top here. Orc Commandos across the bottom. Some really cool sculpts. Uh, so uh, let's see. It includes a 30 by 22 kill team playing mat, six barricades, orc scrap piles, terrain, a veteran guardsman kill team, orc commando kill team, bomb squig, and commando grot are the models that are included in it. Fun stuff. Can't sell those, any of this game's workshop stuff until Saturday the 29th. Uh, a couple of new Necromunda kits. Hive Scum for Citadel Miniatures with multiple assembly options and the Delac Weapons and Upgrades Sprues. Uh, back to Wizards of the Coast, because they were at the bottom of the box, and I just now see them. Uh, we have the Dungeons and Dragons Expanded Rules Rules Expansion Gift Set. Uh, this is the alternate art cover. Uh, it features three books, but in a special art treatment, which you can kind of see on the picture there. Sanathar's Guide to Everything, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, and Monsters of the Multiverse, as well as a Dungeon Master screen. And we also have the regular art version of that. Presently, the only way you can get the Monsters of the Multiverse book is in this gift set, regular or alt. Uh, they will be releasing that book later in the year, like summertime later, uh, as a standalone book. But if you want it now, grab a gift set. Maybe even in the alt, co alt art cover, because alt arts are cool. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, that's the new stuff for this week, new and new to us. Uh, as I mentioned... Uh, of course, we tonight we have Commander at 6 o'clock, 5.30 sign-in uh, for Friday Night Magic. And again, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we will be doing a special noon event on Saturday, January 29th, featuring a draft $40 entry fee, draft for Innistrad double feature. Cool, cool stuff. Uh, and very limited. So if you want some of the packs, that might be a really good opportunity to get them. So again, thanks for uh, checking us out. Uh, oh, latest uh, issue of Game Trade Magazine came with a lot of this stuff too. Uh, thanks for checking out What's Up. We will catch you next time. Uh, you know, as usual, like, subscribe, and so forth. Peace.